In just a couple of weeks, Apple's gonna be announcing the biggest iPhone update in history. And it feels like something that not that many people are talking about. For the first time in over a decade, Apple is planning a system-wide redesign. There's gonna be a ton of new AI features baked in everywhere. And we're even set to get a version of Siri that is actually intelligent. This is gonna be a paradigm shift for the iPhone. And I wanna first show you the features that Apple has already confirmed. Starting off with eye tracking, which Apple showed off in a new video in an accessibility blog post for all all the new features they're adding later this year. We just got a short preview video of how this works, but it looks just unreal to see this happening completely hands-free. Next, Apple's introduced a new haptic music listening feature where in your hand, you can feel vibrations across millions of songs in the Apple Music Library. So if you're hard of hearing, you can experience music in a new way. Then Apple's trying to fix car sickness while using your iPhone with a new feature called motion tracking that puts dots on your display in an effort to help trick your brain and make you feel more comfortable when you're using your phone. But Apple didn't stop there. They've also shown off a brand new version of the Magnifier app that can take an image in the real world and turn it into plain text with a new reader mode so it's more legible. You can set up new shortcuts with your voice where you can do a complex phrase or action with just a trigger word or two. And when you're typing on your iPhone, Apple's introduced a new hover typing bar above your message so you can see more clearly what you are writing. And all of this that Apple has already shown off are just the new accessibility features coming at iOS 18. Then there's everything else like the new design that has piqued my interest since I first heard about it. Because it's uh, been a minute since the iPhone has gotten a new look. Actually, it was back in 2013 with iOS 7. That's the last time Apple did a major aesthetic revamp for everyone's devices. And while then, Apple transitioned from the skeuomorphism and loads of detail with iOS 6 to a flatter, more simplistic look for iOS 7 that Apple believed was easier to use and understand. Well, it doesn't sound like the iOS 18 redesign will be as dramatic as iOS 7. We now know what iOS 18 is not going to look like. It is not going to look like Apple Vision OS after all. We heard an initial rumor that Apple is planning to bring key design elements down from the Vision Pro headset to the iPhone. This would include things like more detail around the operating system with shadows and transparency and translucency, sort of a mix between iOS 6 and iOS 7. We've recently gotten some new info that Apple is not planning to do that, that that rumor was incorrect. And instead, Apple is planning something specific for the iPhone. They're not just borrowing the design language for something else for iOS 18. Hearing this though, I wondered what iOS 18 was actually gonna look like. And we've heard and seen two key things that Apple is planning to do. The first is a look at the brand new home screen. As multiple sources are reporting that for the first time ever, you will now be able to freely customize your app icon grid however you want. Your apps and widgets will no longer be locked to the top of your display when you're using it. You'll be able to move them in the middle or the bottom or the side if you want to really get a unique and custom home screen built for you and what you want to do. It's a change that we have been wanting to see forever and it is going to make the iPhone feel so new. With this change alone, everyone's home screens can now be unique for the first time ever. The second thing we've heard though is much more interesting interesting to me. It's a phrase that says that apps are going to be designed to be A, more modular, and B, easier for Apple to update. I don't know what that means. It's very ambiguous, but it sounds almost as if Apple will be allowing you to have specific customization over the parts of apps and tabs and how you use them. But that's just my best guess. And we still have not seen an actual leak of new icons or design elements of what exactly iOS 18 is gonna look like. But trust me, when you do, I will be telling you about it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button in case you haven't already. Now to charge my iPhone, I've been using the Shargeek One from Charge, who actually sponsored today's video. And straight up, this is the coolest power bank that exists in the world. And that's because it features a fully transparent design that allows you to see everything from the actual battery cells inside to the hardware that makes everything work. And with 170 watts of maximum power output, it has all the overhead you need to fast charge your iPhone, your iPad, and even your MacBook at maximum speeds. The Shargeek 170 also has a colossal 24,000 milliamp hour 
hours of internal battery storage, which means you can charge up your devices from zero to 100% multiple times over before you need to recharge the bank. And when it eventually does run out of battery, it has 140 watts fast charging to power it back up, which means you can go from zero to 50% in just 20 minutes. And right now, when you use my link down below, you can get the Shargeek 170 for yourself. I don't know how else to say it. I love this thing. I think you're gonna love it as well. A huge thank you to Charge for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to it. What we have heard and seen a lot of details about are all of the new AI features that Apple is adding. Because up until this point, there's AI built into the iPhone, but there's not AI built into the iPhone, if you know what I'm saying. And Apple for months now has been teasing that they have some absolutely ridiculous announcements on the way. Like just look at this interview that they did a couple months ago when asked about them being behind on AI. Critics have been surprised that Apple appears to be falling behind when it comes to AI. How do you respond? I don't, I don't believe we are. Not too worried. <laughs> Not too worried. <laughs> and actually we have an advantage. Again, go back to we own the silicon, the hardware, the software the machine learning all in one team. So that's a super confident answer. And even Apple CEO, Tim Cook, has said that Apple is going to break new ground in AI. Are they hinting at a new version of Siri? Because it kind of sounds like they're hinting at a new version of Siri. Not to mention that Apple is currently, right now as I speak, finalizing a partnership with the leader in AI technology, OpenAI, for a partnership with new features in iOS 18. Super interesting timing, right? Especially as we've seen these products launch from companies like Humane, where you can talk to this pin on your chest and it will give you information about the world around you using your microphone and your camera or the rabbit r1 where you can just talk to this little orange box and it tells you about the world and while these look super cool the only thing i can think of is wouldn't it just be better to have this on your phone that has a microphone and a camera and a crazy fast processor and that you already have in your pocket at all times has apple figured this out have they thought about this and seen how they could just wipe out this entire ai gadget market with a software update like iOS 18? Why can't that be Siri? Why wouldn't that be Siri? I mean, Apple sure seems to be hinting that they have something pretty nuts and shipping this out to a billion iOS devices with a software update, that would be a big deal. That would be a crazy change to the iPhone just with the new version of Siri. Okay, that's the Siri stuff. Let me get more specific about the new AI features coming to apps on the iPhone. The new Notes app in iOS 18 is gaining the ability to directly record voice memos inside side of notes directly. And when you record these voice memos in there, you can now use AI to transcribe it almost in real time, it sounds like. On top of that, the Notes app is also getting a new math notes feature where it sounds like if you're writing out equations, your iPhone will be able to see what you're working on and either give you help for solving math problems or help guide you through it using AI. I would have loved if I had math notes back in college but pop off now, Apple. Next up, the Safari app is gaining the Apple version of the AI assistant that can look at your screen and summarize what's on the page or help you learn more things about the context that you're currently experiencing. Kind of like we've seen from AI browser demos from other companies out there. Safari might also be gaining a native ad block option or the ability to block specific content on web pages, which would be pretty crazy and a big deal if you run a, a news website that relies on ads, that that would be a system setting on the iPhone now. And because Apple's adding these new features, it looks like there's gonna be a new reorganization menu with three dots in the web bar that just allows you to see all of these settings in one place based off of the lead. Now let's talk about the Photos app because Apple is going to be introducing a pretty crazy new feature called Magic Eraser, where you'll be able to circle things or erase objects in photos, just like what Google announced a while ago, where in the Google Photos app, you can just erase things and using AI it magically stitches the photo together. But by far, the AI features coming to apps that I am most excited for have to do with calendars and reminders. Because right now, these apps are completely separate, they don't talk to each other, and it makes my and probably your life really hard sometimes. Well, at iOS 18, these apps can now see information from each other. You can schedule reminders in the calendar app, and there is going to be way better interoperability between the two. Altogether, it sounds like AI is just going to fix a lot of the long-standing annoyance 
annoyances of things not working together perfectly all the time. And not that AI is going to be perfect, but it's going to be the closest to perfect we've ever gotten. Now, stepping aside from AI for a second, we have two other apps that are getting some big changes. First, let's talk about the Maps app, where for the first time in iOS 18, you will be able to set custom routes. So if you always like taking one street, but you still want to see traffic conditions and the latest updates, you'll be able to set your exact work or home route every single day on custom streets, which is really cool if you like a certain route that usually disagrees with the GPS for whatever reason, you'll be able to set that now in Apple Maps. The second Maps feature is that topographic maps are coming in the app as well. This is something that's actually currently on the Maps for Apple Watch app. You can see this on your wrist. Sounds like Apple is porting this over to the iPhone and the iPad, so you'll be able to see elevation data more easily on your iPhone now. But if we're talking about one app, because I, I will believe it when I see it, but we are now hearing multiple rumors that the iPad is finally getting a calculator app, which I, you know, I'm, I think I'm a broken person that I like care this much about it. But yeah, I'm excited that the iPad for the first time ever in iPad OS 18 is getting a native calculator app built by Apple. It's happening. It's going to be cool. And that leads us now to what devices are going to actually be compatible with iOS 18. Because, well, the truth is there's really good news this year. According to a couple of rumors, every single iPhone that is currently compatible with iOS 17 is also going to be able to run iOS 18, which means that if you currently have an iPhone that runs iOS 17, you should be getting almost all of the features that I talked about in today's video. The new design updates, the updated AI features, and a better version of Siri plus everything else. And I genuinely can't believe that we are this close to iOS 18. Apple is announcing it on June 10th at their Worldwide Developers Conference event at their headquarters in Cupertino. That is not very far away. I didn't actually realize we're almost done with May somehow. So that's soon. We're going to be seeing all of this soon and can you tell I'm excited I'm just a little excited for this one because I feel like the iPhone is stagnated right like it's just been kind of boring and the iOS updates year in and year out have just been so the same thing for so long iOS 18 is the breath of fresh air we've been waiting on at least based off of everything we're hearing currently and even what Apple has shown and hinted at. This event is going to be absolutely wild. Make sure you're subscribed so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. Okay, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing well. and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.